Introduction Are you ready for some practical, scientifically sound strategies for raising kids who respect and love you so much that they adopt your deepest held values? What if these techniques helped you avoid unwinnable arguments and power struggles? How would it be if these strategies also helped your kids develop the strong brains and behavioral habits required for confidence and resilience in this challenging world? For over 80 combined years, we've been helping parents raise respectful, responsible, and mentally strong kids and young adults. As such, the pages of this book have not been penned by rookies, but by two men who have devoted their careers and their lives to the science and the practice of parenting. Just as important, both of us have raised families of our own and experienced the highs, the lows, and the humbling nature of family life and shaping little bundles of joy into grown adults. We know what parenting used to be like and what it's like now. Yes, we're old enough to recall the days when the biggest technological challenges parents faced were the television and the telephone with a 15-foot cord. Some children, believe it or not, were defying their parents by sneaking more TV time and by running the phone cord under their bedroom doors. Those cords often blended with the shag carpet, making them difficult for a harried parent to detect. While simpler, those times came with serious challenges that impacted practically every family. Alcohol has always been a problem. Marijuana and other drugs were becoming more popular and accessible. More kids were feeling free to show blatant disrespect, and many were tuning out from school. Teen pregnancy was another big concern. Over the past four decades, these and many other challenges have reached epic proportions for many families. With the growth of the Internet and the advent of wireless technology, a universe of information is now available through a device small enough to fit in the pocket of even the snuggest fitting genes. Now we parent in an age where the devices available to our children contain more temptations than we faced during our entire childhood. Sure, some of the information out there is healthy and beneficial. Unfortunately, a large amount is deceptive, dark, and dangerous. The companies designing these devices and the software they rely on have mastered the science of addiction, provide exciting content in random, unpredictable ways, so that users always have a sense of missing out if they aren't constantly online. Provide content that targets their deepest needs to be noticed, adored, and valued as part of a social network. Get kids' brains addicted to dopamine, the reward chemical, by making the use of these devices more exciting than just about anything else, except, of course, risky sex, drugs, and other dangerous behaviors. As we all know at heart, Real joy comes from authentic relationships, a sense of purpose, helping others, and pursuing healthy challenges that lead to feelings of competence. We also know that a life filled with unhealthy distractions always leads to disappointment, anxiety, and deep depression. While most of us understand that, many of us feel overwhelmed by the thought of being in charge of providing a safe, happy home and raising our kids so they make good decisions have healthy relationships, act kindly to others, become productive members of society, don't crumble in the face of challenges, and take responsibility for their goals and actions. Here's the good news. You are smarter than your kids' smartphones. You've got more wisdom than their wireless devices. You've got way more hope and heartfelt motivation than the largest hard drive on earth. To make matters even better, you're reading a book like no other one that marries 40 years of research on how to build healthy brains with 40 years of psychological strategies for taking good care of yourself while raising kids who understand an unequivocal truth. The quality of their lives and the lives of others will depend on the quality of their choices, and it doesn't have to be hard.